In James chapter 5 and verse 16, it says, Confess your trespasses to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. The effective, fervent prayer of a righteous man or woman availeth much. You know, so often we wait until we see, like a, we want to see a giant blooming sign that says, pray for me over someone's head before we'll go out and minister to them, before we'll step out in faith or step out in boldness and pray for them. It's like you just want to make sure that you know that you know. And I want to encourage you this week to step out of your comfort zone, to step out in boldness, to ask the Holy Spirit to come in and give you that just boldness and that, that fire to pray for people no matter what it is no matter where you're at that when you have an opportunity that you say I'm gonna do it I'm gonna take it I love the story in Luke chapter 7 we see here in verse 11 through 15 and it's this widow who had lost her son you know Jesus he's just walking through he's walking out of town and what takes place here is she's not even going to him she's not asking for prayer I mean it's a funeral procession coming down and Jesus steps out because he sees an opportunity to minister. He stepped out with compassion. You know, whenever we step out to pray for people, we're going beyond ourselves. We're getting to a place where we realize, you know what? I'm getting in faith and I'm getting in boldness and I'm trusting in God. And I need to do it with a compassionate heart. He looked at this widow woman who, who had just lost her son and he said, weep not. You know, he cared. He cared about what she was going through. I mean, she didn't even ask him for anything. He had a large crowd with him. I'm sure she saw him. And Jesus stepped out and cared for her. And we need to do the same thing. That whenever we see a beautiful opportunity, whether there's a flashing sign or not, that we step out and we step out in boldness and faith with compassion, with a true compassionate heart. And that we care because people need to know that one, that Christians care and that God, that we serve a God who is greater, who is mightier, who has defeated the devil and has defeated any, any enemy and who is their healer and who's their protector and their comforter and their helper and their friend. And that we give them hope through Jesus Christ because it's not about us, it's all about him. So then what did he say to this widow woman? When he tells her, he says, weep not. And then he looks down and he says, young man, I say to you, arise. And in the Amplified Version, it says, I say to you, arise from death. Then Jesus stepped out in boldness and he ministered to her son. Then her son, he, he raised that boy up right up to life. Whenever we step out and pray for people, we need to prepare our hearts to minister. We need to ask the Lord for these right opportunities. God, open up the door, help me to step out in boldness, send people across my path every morning that we're prepared to minister out the faithfulness and the love of Christ to every person we come in contact with. Then we need to step out in boldness and share the love of Christ, live our life com compassionately, actually care. And then we look beyond ourselves and we look to the Lord to what God can do. And you know, I would encourage you to have some scriptures ready, just practical knowledge. So on my phone, I have a whole list of scriptures that I have ready, just different topics on salvation, on healing. So that way, if I need something, if I don't have my Bible with me, I can whip out my phone and say, hey, and here's a scripture for what you're dealing with. So in preparing yourself, get yourself ready so that you're ready to minister at all times. God opened up three opportunities for me to minister to people this last week because I asked, I asked him. I said, Lord, I want some opportunities to share your love and pray with people. And in one situation, I had said, you know, I'm going to pray for her, to this woman. Did you know that the Lord brought the woman that I said I was going to pray for to me that very same day? And I had to make a choice. Do I just say, okay, I'm going to pray for you. See ya. Get in my car. No, I said, you know, let's grab hands can I pray with you and we just pray right here? She said, oh, I would love that. Man, and God just blessed it because that's what he'll do. The prayer of a, the, fer, the effective fervent prayer of a righteous man or woman availeth much. Pray for an opportunity this week. People need Jesus, y'all. I need Jesus, you need Jesus. And prayer works, the prayer of faith works, and I believe God's going to do great things, and we're going to see miracles, signs, and wonders as we step out in boldness and begin to minister to those that need ministered to.
God's going to open up those opportunities. And I'm in agreement with you right now in the name of Jesus for the right people to come across your path and that we're going to see life saved and forever changed for God's glory in Jesus' name. All right. God is faithful. I love you all. It's going to be a blessed week and I hope to see you soon.